What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabad, bringing you guys another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Let's Play. If you guys are enjoying this, show some love to that like button down below. Don't forget, if you are new, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. And the question of the day today is going to be... Who or what is your favorite in-game item? What is your favorite in-game item? Let me know. I really like the, the, the items that our team is rocking right now. Speaking of our team, we're going to do a little bit of a quick team recap, if you don't mind. I did do some grinding in between episodes, so that way everybody was on par. We've got Papaya here, level 49. The Noivern. You know, Super Fang, Psychic, Leech, Life, and Air Slash. We have Seabed, the Pre-Marina. He is level 50 with Sparkling, Aria, Psychic, Icy Wind, and Moonblast. We have Konohamaru, the Lorantis. He is level 47 with Leech Life, Petal Blizzard, Slash, and Solar Blade. We have Stu, the Hariyama. He is level 50 with Knock Off, Stone Edge, Belly Drum, and Close Combats. We have Lamb Chop, the Ampharos. She is level 49 with Power Gem, Thunder Wave, Thunder, and Discharge. And last but certainly not least, we have Split, the Flareon. He is level 47 with Lava Plume, Fire Fang, Flare Blitz, and Flame Charge. So, we have to find Hapu. We have to find Hapu. Hapu is apparently in charge of the the totems around here the kahunas around here something along those lines we just know we have to find hapu and her mudsdale because her mudsdale is around here somewhere and that chef looks like he wanted a battle but i frankly i don't think he's ready and we got 30 totem stickers do i get another totem nope maybe every 20 maybe every 20 he'll give me one and there's another one right there no mudsdale i found you nee. Nee. What's poppin', Mudsdale? It's good to see you again, too, Mudsdale. You look to be in fine form. Wow, Pokemon trainers really do amaze me. It seems like a hard path to walk, and even so, you don't let yourself help be, be help, blah, 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 blah. You don't let yourself be held back by the fear of seeing your Pokemon friends get hurt. You just keep striving forward together. That we do. Oh, been a while, Crimson. And you brought Lily along, too? Yes, it's good to see you, Hapu. Oh, you look different. You look like you're ready to go all out in something now. Thank you, Hapu. I finally discovered what I need to do. So this is my Z-powered form. Oh, then do your best, Lily. No one can call you Lily Livered. So, um, Hapu, do you know where we can find the Kahuna? The Kahuna? Hmm, don't have one here on Pony. What? Now what do we do, Crimson? Well, do not be distressed. I wouldn't say that I know nothing of this. All right, let us proceed to the ruins. You stick with me, you two. Nee. Nee. All right. Use your low rider. I won't call for your Mudsdale. Don't worry. Crimson, we just have to keep going, right? But then again, you are a trainer, aren't you? I suppose you always keep moving forward. Wait there. Eek! Who are you, old lady? I'm sorry. I don't think we've been introduced. Oh, I'm Hapu's old gran. Are you two friends with my girl? Yes, we are. Oh, so she has friends now. Traveling around the islands, making new friends. You kids are luckier than you know. Ooh, it's time. It's my favorite part of the game. If you want to head to the Pony Islands ruins, how about just a bit of help from this old gran? Here, hand over your ride pager for the moment. I'll teach you the summoning jutsu for my husband, Machamp, here. Mer Yes! Yes, the only way to travel around Alola is in the arms of a Machamp. In the arms of a Machamp. I wish you both a brilliant future. Thank you. Thank you, Hapu's Grand. My Hapu was heading for the Ruins of Hope, wasn't she? Go after her. First, you'll come by Pony Breaker Coast. You'll know it's soil. It's black as pitch. Go through there, you'll find the ruins. Thank you very much, ma'am. You've been a great help. The Ruins of Hope. That is where the Guardian of Pony Island will be. That is where Tapu Fini lives. Let's go. All right. Let's go grab this totem sticker, though, first, though. Hold up, Lils. Hold up, Lils. There's a sticker right here. We can't just turn away a sticker. Come on. Who taught you how to adventure? There's probably some more wandering around here, too, that I should look for carefully. But I won't. Even though I do want more totem Pokemon. Even though there's nothing totem uh, totemly about them. And there's a TM right there that I want, too. Let's go over there and grab that. Ah, oh, hey, lady. Don't mind me. Just grabbing a TM. Oh, you know what? You know what would actually work? You know what would actually work? 
Yes! In the arms of... Ooh, the Scald TM is here. Bless. Bless. I'm going to teach Scald to Seabad over Sparkling Aria just because it has more PP. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Let's go, Seabad. All right. Don't mind me. Just a boy and his ma champ. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, what's up, Inke? I did catch a few of the Pokemon over here in between while I was grinding. Um, I think we caught an Inke. Uh, caught a Gramble. And I think I caught a Pelipper, too, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Hey, lady. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Thank you. What is this? What is this? That's a geyser of some sort. I didn't know that was there. Huh. Could have fooled me. Aha, don't go looking through your legs at me. Not me. Not me, old boy. Don't go through your legs looking at me. You don't want no trouble. You don't want zero problems with me, big fella. There's Lily in the Mudsdale. I almost said Hapu. Hapu's not a horse, unless she's an anamorph. She could be. The ruins of hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressive. But if we go in there, maybe Nebi will return to normal. The people believe that the guardian deity of these ruins, Tapu Fini, can wash away any impurities with its mystic water. Think that'll work? Oh, honestly, Crimson, I'm going to make sure that Nebi gets right back to normal just to show you. <laughs> Whatever the noise the horse makes. This time, I'm going to be the one who saves you, Nebi. Come on, Crimson, let's go. All right. Let's go. Tally ho. Tally ho. There we are. If we're going to break the path, we need to move these huge rocks. That's what Hapu's grandmother said, isn't it? And she's going to try it. Old cheerleader looking with your stu with your with your with your stick twig figure. We'll use that Machamp. We'll use that Machamp. It's bar march. Yep, 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 yep. Breaking the fourth wall for the Machamp. We got to use the B button. All right, Machamp. Let's do it to it. Let's do it to it. Ah! There we go. And a boy. Keep on going. Keep on pushing. I love this Mario music in the background. It's so soothing. There we go. What if I were to push the stones out of order? Would that have, like, triggered a cutscene where Lily's like, You idiot! Let me get on the mod champ. And then she takes all my Pokemon. And then Lily's the star of the game now? Is that what would happen? All right. Let's get him on out. Get him on out. There we go. All right. Now we are in. Am I still in my mod champ? No, I wanted to be in my mod champ. Come on. What's up, Hapu? What you up to? What's poppin', Hapu? What's poppin'? What's hoppin', Papu? I've read about them, you know. Alola's sacred ruins and the guardian deities worshipped within them. They go wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them according to the books I've read. But if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. All right, so wait, do, I have to, do I have to battle Tapu Fini? The books say that they are, well, capricious. Encounters them do not always end as well as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why. Even coming here to these ruins hasn't even evoked any response from Nebi. You just put your Cosmo out like that? Oh, there's Hapu. All right, cutscene. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I thought she had her hat off for a minute. Her bonnet or whatever. It's time. It's time. There we go. I give my thanks for your great blessing. As Kahuna, I will do my best for the people and the Pokemon of Alola. All right. Here's our Hapu. Here's our Kahuna Hapu right here. Oh, so you two were watching. She's got that smug look on her face. Just The Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola. Our sacred, our sacred guardians. Wow. Sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the island. Each guardian watches over. Lily told me that you're pretty new to our parts, eh, Crimson? You come to Alola from far off? You must be really something then. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a stranger to our shores. Yes, that is true. My grandfather... 
My grandfather was also chosen for this honor, the honor of being our island's kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back, and we were left without a kahuna on pony. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by the tapu back then. So I set out on my own sort of island challenge, traveling in Lola and trying to grow stronger. Lily, the kahuna you wish to meet is right here. She's just so smug. I don't. I think that's what I like about her and what I hate about her at the same time. Oh, of course. Then please, Kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want to know about Lunala, who we pay tribute to at the Altar of the Moon? I must go after my mother. She disappeared off into some far-off world, and a fearsome creature lives in that world, a Pokemon called Necrozma. That is why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. The legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. A world where beasts reside, huh? I reckon that must be the kind of world you find at the other end of those holes that open up in the sky, just as my grandfather once described. All right, I will tell you what I know. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But what I know is not much. Just that there's a ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is the sun flute. It seems that my mother had it. Huh, that looks to be the flute that used to reside at the lake on Ula Ula. The other is said to be held on Executor Island. I do not know why they're of all places, but it has been passed down. That is where it belongs. Executor Island? I think I've read about it before. It's an uninhabited island off the coast of Pony, isn't that right? Yeah, so no reason to dally here. Let us go speak with Mina. Lily, you take us to Mudsdale. You take Mudsdale. We proceed to Seafolk Village. All right. So do I have to beat Mina's trial and then Mina will take me over, perhaps? Really? Y'all really, y'all really just leaving me here. That's incredible. I wonder if we'll be able to get to Executor Island from Seafolk Village. I'm sure we'll be able to, Rotom. Don't worry. Don't you worry your pretty little head. We'll be just fine. I'm pretty sure I can fly on Charizard out here, too. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. There we go. There we go, Charizard. Go on ahead and take me back now. Do I have to do Mina's Trial, then? Maybe Mina's Trial is Executor Island. -na 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 -na. The biggest plot twist of 2017. Yep, here's Mina. Thank you, Hapu. And thank you, Mudsdale. Oh, that's what friends do. Friends? An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a friend? Friend. Friend. I'm so glad I got to meet you, Hapu. To journey to Executor Island, you should speak with Mina. She can help arrange a boat for you. I shall be wishing for your safety. Hey, no problem, Hapu. Alright, hello, Mina. I need you to use your boat. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. This is not this is Mina's boat. Aha. Got it. Uh, did you find out anything useful? Yes, and Hapu was made the new kahuna. Little Hapu was? We had been wait we had we've been having old man Nanu look after our grand trials up until now. <laughs> now we've got our own little kahuna. That's great. Yes, Hapu will do her best for her late grandfather, as I must do my best for my mother's sake, and for Nebby as well. And so there's a place that we need to go. Executor Island? Oh, where the flute is. Right. Well, in that case, we'd better get the chief. Did you call me? Oh, he is still in the game. Okay. Oh, my goodness. There's a guy standing on a boat. That's so weird. You're right. Nice to meet you. I'm the chief of the sea folk. I couldn't help overhearing what you said. So why don't I get you to Executor Island? Oh, thank you. Hold up there, little lady. It's Crimson who will go on this trip. He's a trainer, after all. And Executor Island is a pretty crazy place. Huh, that's true. There's some crazy critters on that island. It's the one thing for a trainer to go, but if you're not a trainer, you should trust your friend to take care of this task for you. But, Crimson. I've got this. You're right. I'm sure you and Noivern can handle it better than anyone else could. I'll wait here for you to come back. And while we're waiting for Crimson, I'll make you model for a picture, Lily. I guess she... Oh, she... That's right. She's an artist. Paint me like one of your French girls. Take me in your Magikarp boat, oh seafaring captain. Show me the way. Let us journey to Executor Island together. Ooh, and it's raining. Executor Island looks a little bigger. There's the flute, though. Shout out to the flute. Give me the flute. Give me the flute. There's the moon flute that I so desperately need. Up all these hills. Shouldn't be too bad. Should be fine. Oh, that's a big eggy boy. They just got these things wandering around, huh? Huh. 
<laughs> Here we are at Executor Island. I heard this place used to be a trial site, though. That was a long time ago now. Looks like the fellows are even more worked out than usual, but they're always a noisy bunch. It's probably fine. You go on. Good luck. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, I do want to put uh, Seabed out first, just in case, because I can go for, like, Icy Wind or something. Hey, guys. Don't mind me. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling like a villain should. I'm just going to go grab my flute. Don't mind me, please. Seriously. Seriously, literally pay no attention to me whatsoever. Ah. There's a trick to get up here, I think. Me thinks. Let's climb a tree? Nope. How do I get up there? Through the cave? Do I have to climb the executors? Hello? I don't know what I gotta do. Do I have to, like, use an exec... Oh, there's a pincer climbing on them. Oh, I understand now. I see. I get it. All right, it's called Rain Boost. It's called, please. Take care of this pincer for me. Goodbye. So there's a pincer climbing on him. That's what it is. I understand now. Okay. And I'm glad I remembered to turn off the experience share for the grinding. Ah, pincer was stuck to its head. Got it. All right, let's get all these pincer out of here. That would suck. You just have a pincer just climbing around in your head? Ugh, like I've had bugs crawl on me before, but a whole pincer? I couldn't do it. I'd freak out. I'd step on it. I'd squash it. I'd squash it immediately. I would squash it immediately. All right, Skull should still be knocking on the rain. Goodbye. Perfect. Excellent. All right, there's one more. All right. Waving its head around happily now. All right, where's the last guy that was freaking out? You were freaking out too, weren't you? Yeah. Quit freaking out. And get me up to my... Tr get me up to my... Get me up to my flute, dang it. That's all I want. Seriously, they had a huge bug. You just look down, you see even like a little pincer. I'd freak out, dude. There was, if there was a... a whatever, whatever bug pincer is based off of, climbing around on me, oh my god, I'd lose my mind. I would absolutely lose my mind. It'd be rough. It'd be really rough. All right. Let us adjourn. All right, we got all the we got it. We cleared off all the pincer off the executor. You gonna let me climb your head now? Yes. I think you are. Yes. Oh, I do have to climb you. Now, where did that executor wander off to? It looked like it wandered overhead somewhere. So, can I climb your head? That's literally what it is. Lifted you up as thanks. Thank you. Thank you, executor. I appreciate you. Because I can get the sticker now. Ha ha! 32! Only need eight more. Who put the sticker all the way out here? Is there an item over here? There is a PP up. Let's go. I'm going to use that PP up, actually. I'm going to use that PP up. I'm going to use it on Stu's close combats. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Got it. Got it. All right, what else around here? Is there anything? I just got to go up and grab my flute. There's no more stickers. Give me the flute. The flute is placed on a very old pedestal. Will you take the flute? Nope. Game over. Credits roll. Ha <laughs> There we go. That's what I wanted. And the rain stopped. No, the moon came out. Interesting. It's so much brighter now. Welcome back, Crimson. Now that you've got those flutes up, play it. Now you've got to play those flutes up at the altar, I guess. The altar can be found in the deepest part of the vast Pony Canyon. Those executors sure took a liking to you. You've clearly got something important in you as a trainer if Pokemon like you that much. Even Pelipper likes me. He's just laughing. He's just like, oh, my Pelipper's making all these weird noises. Now that we've got the flutes, we need to head to the Vast Pony Canyon. That we shall. That we shall. Let's head up there. Can I actually, can I fly over there? Can I fly over there, actually? Or closer, I should say. 
I can fly to the Ruins of Hope and then move over. That should be fine. Mm -mm. Should have probably just went the normal way. Ah, that's fine. It is what it is. Let me get on Tauros and we'll run over there. All right, Tauros, let's roll. Let's rock and roll. There's your top of Phoenix just chilling. And they're like, ooh, yikes. I didn't think you guys would be back this soon. Is that a sticker? That is a sticker. No, that's a trainer. You're not a... You're... I thought you were a sticker. There's a sticker next to you, but I that's not what I anticipated. Not what I expected at all, frankly. Turtonator. Oh, okay. I was like, do I still I was like, do I still have papaya up front? I do not. So what I can do is just click this move right here called Moonblast. Nat Ooh, didn't take you out. Body slam. With that big old shell, that's gonna hurt. Stop this. Ooh, you paralyzed the wrong sea bad today. You paralyzed the wrong sea bad today. Hold this gold, fam. There we go. There we go. All right, Drampa. Um, you know what, Stu? I want you to show off that close combat. Show the kids at home. Show the kids at home why not to mess with Stu, won't you? All right, Drampa. You're gonna about to hold the finest, the finest of close combats. Screw it, bye, Drampa. It's okay, it's okay. You try. That's kids. Why you don't make? That's why you don't pick on Stu. You don't pick on Stu ever. But there is a sticker over there that I want to grab. Excuse me, I just want to. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, I just want to. Thank you. Thirty-three totem stickers. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's not the way that I wanted to go. He's going to block me, too. That's plot point. That's not the way that I wanted to go. That's post-game. That's... Or is that post-game? Yeah, that's post-game. What's over here in this grass? Ooh, Gastrodon. Okay. Okay. I don't think I've got any more quick balls, either. I'm going to pass on the Gastrodon right now. I'm glad to know that we can pick up those Pokemon out here. But I'm going to pass on it for right now. Let us continue on. Actually, let's heal up. Let's just drop a paralyzed heal really quickly, or full heal, excuse me, on Seabad. And then we'll venture forth into the great unknown. Oh, Team Skull, really? Y'all want this work? But I'm trying to save Guzma. Why y'all? Y'all mm -mm. are going to be the end of me. I swear it. I swear it. You're from Team Skull. What is it that you want from us? Here they come. I heard about you numbskulls at Aether. Do you really know how to open an ultra wormhole and save our boy Guzma? Let me see if you really are bad enough to the bone to save our boy Guzma. Is this battle necessary? I'll destroy you. I'll, I'll absolutely destroy you. Okay. You asked for it. You and your one Pokemon. You and your Ekans. This is what you're testing my strength with, is an Ekans. Okay. Okay. I feel like the Waka Flock of Flame Gift where he's just like, okay. Yeah, that hurts. I know that hurts. That's got to hurt you something fierce, don't it? Yeah, I know I'm stronger than you. All right, everybody else. Y'all want to try me too? Hey, Plumeria. What's up, waifu? Y'all bring it then. All 500%. Y'all bring it all at the same time. I'm ready for you. I am ready for you. I was born ready for this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What do you got? A bunch of Ekans still? Fomantis? All right. I'm just... Seabed's just going to run through it. Honestly. You're not ready. You weren't ready. You weren't born ready. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Goodbye. Goodbye. There we go. All right. One down. Marini. Bring him. Bring him. Bring all your pathetic little Pokemon my way. You don't want it. You don't want it. Seabed, go for Psychic. You... These kids, these Team Skull Grunts, I tell you, they just, they, they, they want... They want to be big and bad and strong, but realistically, I'm just going to run through the six with their team really quickly. 
I am just going to run through their team right quick. Go for another Psychic. Haze? Keep going. Keep going. You guys are doing awesome, aren't you? You guys are doing awesome, ain't you? Go for an Icy Wind. Mean look. Oh, you're... I'm trapped in here with you. No, you're trapped in here with me, big guy. Come here. Come here. Exactly. Exactly. Get him out. Get him out. I don't want him. I don't want him. All right. What else you got for me? Radicate. Mm -hmm. keep, keep, come, come, come. Come, come, come. We can have this fight. We can have this fight right now. I'm just going to keep on clicking moves. And you're going to keep on dropping like flies. Not even like cutie flies. Like ugly flies. There's cutie flies and there's ugly flies. That's what you guys are. You're all ugly flies. And Seabad grew to level 51. That's my boy right there. That is my boy right there. Houndar? Only if you tell me where to find that Houndar. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Hit him the Scald, Seabad. There we go. There we go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Excelente. Our 500% is like what percentage of your strength? Like... Two. Not even. Like, no, like 2% because I had to attack Golbat twice. I may have lost, but listen up, yo. Please save Guzma for us. You dummies. They're trying to save the boss, so what do you want to get in their way for? Oh, hey, wife. How's it going? What's popping? How are you? Okay. Goodbye. Huh. You, girly. Lily, right? You really ready to do this finally? To be honest, I've treated you really badly. Even if I was just doing the work the president told me to do, I shouldn't have done all that. Even if I apologize now, I know it's probably too late for you to forgive me, though. See, Guzma, he really likes the president. She's the only adult who ever seemed to see how strong he was. The president? My mother is. She's selfish. She decides all by herself that what she thinks needs to be done to make other people happy, not even caring what it is that they may want. But people ought to help out one another. That is what I've learned here in Alola. And that is what I'm going to teach her too. Then I think we can save Mr. Guzma. You know, deep down, you're kind of like the president. You've gone in a different direction, but I can tell you have the same strength in your convictions. Crimson, Lily, I've got no reason to help, but... But could you help us save Guzma? Of course, I can do that. Look at these pants, come on. Look at how white these pants are, you got this. That big dummy, I don't even think he's aware of it, but... Alola really means a lot to him. That's why he's doing something so reckless to try to save it. The poison type Z crystal. Maybe it'll help you somehow. Hey, there's that poisonium Z. I'll take it. I guess giving you the Z crystal is also kind of... What did you call it? Helping each other? Oh, yeah. You got your first stone directly from Tapu Koko, didn't you, Crimson? You better take care of it. That's one special Z power ring you got there. A trainer is only a trainer because of the Pokemon with them. If you ever forget that, you'll bring the wrath of the Tapu down upon yourself. You should be fine, though. I'm out of here. All right, bye, Plumeria. It's been fun. I suppose even Team Skull is not all that bad. Thanks again for helping me, Crimson. And here, let me thank your team, too. Aw, thanks for the help. I needed it. I really did. All right, Crimson, let's finally go to the altar. The Fast Pony Canyon lies ahead of us. It's time. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. And because it is time, we are going to be finishing up this episode right here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, show us some love to that like button down below. Don't forget, answer the question of the day in the comment section down below as well. All that being said, I want to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'm going to let this outro bang. I'm going to talk to you all soon. Later.